Milky Way Galaxy Mystery. Strange objects have been seen at the heart of the Milky Way Galaxy. Scientists have discovered several mysterious structures right at the center of our galaxy, the Milky Way Galaxy, which behave like stars, but act like gas clouds. And this is causing the astronomers and scientists to question. They're stumped. They can't understand what these things are. Sean Martin of Express UK reports. To add more mystery to the weird structures, they're able to survive despite being near to Sagittarius A, the Milky Way's biggest supermassive black hole, which has an intense gravitational pull. So how can these weird structures survive being pulled by a black hole? The objects are moving extremely fast and experts have a difficulty studying them because their view is obstructed by a wall of space dust. The galactic entities, these structures, were first spotted by astronomers using the W.M. Keck Observatory in Hawaii, and they had to sift through 12 years of data to do so. Dr. Anna Curio, a postdoctorate scholar from the University of California, Los Angeles, UCLA, said, these compact, dusty, stellar objects move extremely fast and close to our galaxy supermassive black hole. It's fascinating to watch them move from year to year. How did they get there? And what will they become? They must have an interesting story to tell, she says. Now to get a better view of these objects, astronomers had to use a technique known as OH suppressing infrared imaging spectrograph or OSIRIS for short. This involves inspecting the electromagnetic radiation which reaches Earth from these objects. And researchers have dubbed the mystery objects G-objects. The first of them was found back in 2004, but it was not until 2012 that a second one was seen near the center of the galaxy, and then three more have just recently been found. Since operations led at Keck Observatory, Randy Campbell said it was quite surprising to detect several objects that have very distinct movement and characteristics that place them in the G object class or dusty stellar objects. Well, even if they're dusty, it still uh, baffles them. Why are they not being pulled into the vicinity, into the direction of the black hole? Experts have believed they were gas clouds. This was until it was noticed that they could survive under some of the universe's strongest forces in the form of a supermassive black hole. UCLA astronomer Professor Mark Morris, who is a co-principal investigator, made this statement. If they were gas clouds, G1 and G2 would have not been able to stay intact. Our view of the G object is that they are bloated stars, bloated stars, stars that have become so large that the tidal forces exerted by the central black hole can pull matter off of their stellar atmospheres when the stars get too close, that have a stellar core with enough mass to remain intact. So the question is then, why are they so large? These objects are strange, and have a bright red dusty objects which emit hydrogen and are relatively cold. This led experts to believe that they could be the result of two binary stars colliding after approaching a black hole. Morris continued in saying, in the aftermath of such a merger of two stars colliding, the resulting single object would be puffed up or distended for a rather long period of time, perhaps as a million years, before it settles down and appears like a normal-sized star. The founder and director of the Galactic Center Orbits Invent Initiative, or GCOI for short at UCLA, Andrea Getz, said, if these objects are indeed binary star systems that have been driven to merge through their interaction 
with a central supermassive black hole. This may provide us with the insight into a process which may be responsible for the recently discovered stellar mass black hole mergers that have been detected through gravitational waves. All this is fascinating over my head, but uh, I still like anything to do with astronomy. This is on Express UK by Sean Martin. I'll leave a link below for you for this.